There's so much data to deal with in the digital space. The choice of how to look at it and how to analyse it is becoming much more of a challenge. I'm here with Christian Bartons from Datalicious to talk about some of those issues. Christian, I know you're really passionate about data, but it's starting to get to the top of the agenda for many marketers at the moment. Why do you think that is? Do you know, I think it's because uh, everybody has it, but um, nobody really quite knows how to use it, so there's still a little bit of an enigma around it. And the marketers have really used up all the other opportunities to squeeze the last uh, return on investment out of their other measures. And, and so they can come up and say, look, we're just going to use our data better now. And it, uh, nobody really knows quite exactly what they mean with that. So it's one of the last avenues to really drive growth in an organization that, that I think fuels the hype. So what are the key challenges uh, in achieving a great data management plan? I think there's three main categories, three main challenges. Uh, there's technology, resources, and uh, if you want to, like an internal sales uh, process. Technology, in my eyes, is often overrated because uh, people think it's going to solve all their problems. They invest thousands of dollars in a, in a, in a huge technology platform and a huge data, uh, data warehouse and then they think that's it. They don't need to do anything else and that's, that's, I think, a big problem because they don't have enough money left over to invest in the resources and the actual brains looking into the data. The analysts, the guys are going to drive value from, from, from this vast amount of information that they collect. And even if they've done and ticked those two boxes, um, there's still something a bit more intangible left over, like an internal sales process to, to generate buy-in for, for, this, for this new capability that has been built. Like you need to go out there and advertise it and explain it to people, otherwise they're never going to be able to use it in the, in the front line. So there are paid tools and there are free tools. How should marketers go about comparing which to use? I think they should not compare the features. Everybody always compares features, and I think um, that that's fine. But they should be matching the features to their capabilities. So usually organizations, and not just their own, it's more like their organizations. Organizations can be put on a, on a, on a, on a if you want to call it like an analytics map and say, these are your capabilities. This is where your organization is at in terms of what you're doing with analytics, what you're doing with data. And based on, on the position that your company, your organization is at, you have to select your web analytics tool because if you select a very sophisticated one but your capabilities are not very high then this is going to be wasted and you might be well off with just a free platform. So I think that's, that's the key. Look at your own capabilities, the capabilities within your organization and then decide what analytics platform you need. You can always upgrade later. So what will attendees get from your session at AdTech? They'll be able to put themselves on that map in the end. They'll be able to see, okay, this is probably where my organization sits at the moment. These are my current capabilities. Based on that, this is the platform, paid versus free, that I should be choosing right now. And then they can always amend that decision later. And which discussions do you think will be really valuable? As part of the pay versus free discussion, and, and uh, depending on how sophisticated you are, we're, we're touching a little bit on, on how you can use data to enhance uh, your existing CRM. And I think that could be a really, really nice side discussion and opening a few people's minds of just like, oh, okay, I can use website data to, to make my CRM more powerful. So the really sophisticated uh, end of the spectrum, that would probably be a good side discussion. And who else are you looking forward to hearing speak? Look, there's a lot of really great speakers at the, at the conference, um, but I saw uh, one person from SBSS, uh, sorry, SBS. Uh, these guys have amazing content um, in general and, and, and this person is going to talk about how to weave an advertising message through different channels. So I think that, that could be quite interesting. What are you looking forward to most at AdTech Sydney? Um, the networking really with, with the other people in, in the industry. Um, it's really hard to get in front of these people usually and they're all going to be in one spot at the same time. Fantastic.